Well, it must be Christmas. Because people are sending me presents. And this is a very good present. It's from Wire Man. They must have liked my last review. I can't wait to have a look inside here and see what's going on because they tell me that this box contains what could be the best set of strainers in Australia. Let's find out. I like this carry bag. That's pretty cool. Instructions, isn't that cute? Okay, so let's have a look at what you get in the kit. You get two of these things here. Now these are called Jack the Gripper. Um, and uh, there's a good story behind these. I think these are probably actually gonna be the best part of the kit, uh, but we'll get to testing those in a moment. They are, connected, they are connected to a line scale. Now, if you're a contractor, if you're a fencing contractor and you've ever had the problem where someone reckons you haven't done the fence up properly and it's you know got loose over time or whatever, you can actually take a photo of the strain tension that you put on the fence at the time you installed it. That might be useful to you. You could show clients as, as you go along. Um, might be a good idea for some people. Another good part about this is that We've got this American style ratchet here, but it has a really long chain attached to it. The ratchet itself is easily controlled, basically with one finger to tighten or loosen. Um, very simple, very easy to use. And then that attaches to another one of these jack the grippers. All right, let's go throw this on a fence as the complete kit. So to put the strain X on, all you have to do is pull them open with one hand, sit them on the wire and let go. That is immediately joined on, they're not going anywhere. Now I think that's probably going to be a bit of an improvement over the haste style strainers here. If I just put them on and give them a pull, they'll actually slip down the wire. And so what you, what you get used to doing, of course, with haste type strainers, is you get used to really squeezing them tight and maybe even bending that little bit of wire there so it sits inside the shoe. Now the reason why you have to do that is because over time the Hayes strainers wear in this little shoe here and they get a groove in them. I don't know if you can see the wear marks here. So when I put them on the wire, I'm in the habit of really squeezing tight. If I don't, they will literally just slip down the wire um, and that can be a real pain in the neck. It can even be a bit dangerous. With the, uh, with the strain X, Jack the grippers though, all I literally have to do is squeeze them open, position them on the wire, let them go, and they're completely secure. They're not going anywhere. So that's a big improvement. That's a safety feature, it's an ease of use, and it will make you quicker. So like they say in the classics, here's one we prepared earlier. I've got to run out another top wire on this fence that I did the other week. So we'll use the new strainers to strain up the line wire and see how they work. straining mechanism into the neutral position and I'm going to roll out some more chain then when I'm ready to crank it up I simply turn it on I then attach my strainers to the wire with one simple easy movement so now we've got this end on now all I have to do is pull down on the wire attach the other end and I'm ready to start straining I'm still feeling like this is a lot of bulk compared to what I'm used to, but it's probably just what I'm used to. Um, very easy to put on and take off. If I wanted to readjust my position, I just grab hold of them, just let them go, and they do their job. Um, all right, let's wind her up. 
and see what happens. Um, you can also, if you're feeling like it, just continuously wind around, although I find that a bit awkward. It's easier just to use them like a normal set of strainers. There's a lot more levering that I'm used to. Um, normally about five or six um, pulls on the on the haze type strainers and I'd I'd have this this fence tightened up. But I suppose the big advantage is I've got the scale right here so as I'm as I'm straining I can be looking at it. So I suppose the question now is will the bulk of these strainers get in the way when I try and tie off the straining knot? And got just enough wire there for a knot. Now normally I'd go up but I've got these two little little lugs in the way here now so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come around the opposite direction to what I'm used to no big deal I've still got my loop to do my, my knot so that's good so it's working so far put the wire through the knot now we've got the wire through there that's working all right there's not too much bow out because of the mechanism although these these strainers seem a lot more bulky to what I'm used to they're Linear, linear bulk doesn't seem to be that much higher to what you'd expect from a normal Hayes style strainer. And now it's just a case of tying off the knot. Now that I've got the knot tied off, the process for undoing the strainers is reasonably simple. I simply move that lug undo then release the hand grip done the strainers didn't add any extra bulk to the knot tying process or get in the way at all um, and the putting on and taking of the strainers off the wire was actually a lot simpler with the little jack the gripper things one thing I will note that with this blue wire they are taking the blue off where they pinch down on the wire, they're holding it on pretty tight. And I did strain this wire fairly tight, but it has put some wear onto the wire where they were gripping on. Having said that, this knot was also done up with, with haze strainers, and you can see that it has also removed bluing from the wire where they were gripping on the wire. So not much difference in terms of damage to the wire from either set of strainers. One thing I will say about these strainers, the block and tackle is a bit glitchy. At the moment I'm trying to spool the chain through um, and I'm finding that you can sort of pull for a little while and it snags, you pull the other way, pull, pull, pull. Now they reckon these are also pretty strong. We've got an old intermediate post that's reasonably stable in the ground. <clears throat> There's no kicking it out of the ground, let me just say that. So I reckon these chain strainers look like a winch. Let's see if they work like one. We'll dispense with the scales and the other side of the wire strainers for this bit. And we'll just hook straight to the car. Now I might put the old safety glasses on for this one, as I wouldn't like to be hurt if that wire breaks. Strainers one, post nil. Tell you what, one of the things I'm really appreciating about the Wireman strainer is the really long chain and these fantastic hooks. It's making straining up sheet mesh with a straining plate just that much easier. So I'm really liking the long chain. I am finding the process of straining a bit longer because the ratchet being a lot stronger um, tightens the chain a lot less with each pull. But overall, if I was doing sheet mesh every day, I would certainly have a look at investing in a set of ratchet strainers like this uh, with the long chain, because they certainly make the job a lot easier. So what's the verdict on all this? Well, I really like the fact that Wireman sells each and every single component separately. So if you're a sheep cocky and you like the idea of the extra long chain and the ratchet assembly for tying up your sheep mesh, you can just buy these separately online. You don't have to buy the whole kit. The whole kit is quite expensive. 
and it's not a fix for everything but I really like the idea of you getting your separate scales. I think knowing your straining tension in newtons, kilograms or pounds is really useful. The scales allow you to do all of that. I'm loving the extra long chain for pulling up the sheet mesh and the jack the grippers, well they're just a sensational device that makes working with your traditional chain strainers all that much safer and all that much more reliable. I think if you're an employer and you have your people using chain strainers all the time, it might be worth thinking about switching over to Jack the Grippers for occupational health and safety. You know what it's like these days. I hope you really enjoyed that, guys. If this video was useful, please do hit the little red button down there and subscribe to the channel. Really helps out. Until then, I'll see you next time.